and now we'll talk about the beautiful logic of restriction enzymes and how do restriction enzymes cut the dna beautiful point to say dhyan se sunna what are restriction fragments and restriction enzymes a restriction fragment is a dna fragment resulting from cutting of dna strand by restriction enzyme restriction endonucleases or rens which is a process called restriction to agar aapne dna ko ek restriction enzyme se cut kiya and you got a fragment that fragment which you got with the help of restriction enzyme is called as a restriction fragment restriction fragment which you got with the help of restriction enzymes restriction enzyme se cut kiya aur wo fragment ko kehte hai restriction fragment this fragment is called restriction fragment and lin and arbor isolated two enzymes in 1963 which restricted growth of bacteriophages in bacterium e coli तो सर इकोलाय बैक्टीरिया के अंदर ये रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स ये है बैक्टीरियो बैक्टीरिया और ये है बैक्टीरियल डीएनए और उसकी मदद से बनते हैं एंजाइम्स कॉल्ड एज रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स व्हाट विल दीज रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स डू व्हेन दिस बैक्टीरिया गेट्स अटैक्ड बाय बैक्टीरियो फाज and bacteriophage dna put its dna inside the bacteria remember bacteriophage dna we have just done will disintegrate bacterial dna and multiply to start the lytic cycle the restriction enzymes cut the bacteriophage dna or bacteriophage dna ko cut kar dalte hai and will protect the bacterial dna will protect the bacterial dna from degradation in other words restriction enzymes are the immunity of the bacteria restriction enzymes are the immunity of the bacteria they protect the bacteria from bacteriophage dna restriction enzymes destroy the phage dna bacterial phage dna ko destroy karke bacterial dna ko protect karte hain and that is the logic of restriction enzymes uh restriction enzymes belong to a larger class of enzymes called nucleases restriction enzyme ke sath dusre enzymes are called nucleases and nucleases are of two types you have exonuclease and endonuclease exonuclease remove nuclease nucleotides from the ends of dna dna ke ends mein se cut karte hai base pairs to ends mein se agar cut karte hai base pairs then they are called as nucleases यहां से कट करना स्टार्ट किया देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सो न्यूक्लियस मोर स्पेसिफिक एक्सो न्यूक्लियस इट कट्स डीएनए फ्रॉम द पेरिफ्री टुवर्ड्स द सेंटर फ्रॉम पेरिफ्री टुवर्ड्स सेंटर कट करते हैं एक्सो न्यूक्लियस सो एक्सो न्यूक्लियस इज रिमूव न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स फ्रॉम द एंड्स ऑफ द डीएनए एंड यू हैव एंडो न्यूक्लियस दैट cuts dna at specific positions within the dna to so, agar ye dna hai aur yahan end se cut karna start kiya then it is called exonuclease and agar specific point beech mein se cut kiya beech mein hi cut kiya then that is called as endonuclease so exonucleases cut it from the ends and endonucleases cut it anywhere in between 
and restriction endonucleases serve as tools for cutting DNA at predetermined site, which is the basic requirement for gene cloning or recombinant DNA technology. So, predetermined sites pe restriction endonuclease cut karte hai. And that is the basic requirement for gene cloning or recombinant DNA technology. Which are the types of restriction endonuclease enzyme? There are three types, type 1, type 2 and type 3 restriction endonuclease enzymes are known. They have slightly different modes of action of which type 2 enzyme is used in recombinant DNA technology because they cleave with specific DNA sequence having 4 to 8 nucleotides. So, 4 to 8 nucleotide ka segment ko cut karta hai and that is the reason it is a restriction endonuclease enzyme your specific segments ko cut karte hai 4 se 8 nucleotide ke beech mein. 4 to 8 nucleotides can be cut. More than 350 types of endonucleases with 100 different recognition sequences are known. Har ek restriction enzyme ka ek different recognition sequence hota hai. Aise 350 type ke endonucleases scientists are aware of with 100 different recognition sites. So, DNA ke andar recognition sites cut karne ke liye 350 enzymes hai aur aise a total of 100 recognition sites are there in the DNA. 100 recognition sites of which type 2 is used. And nomenclature. Restriction endonucleases are named by standard procedure with particular reference to the bacteria from which they are isolated. The first letter in italics of the enzyme indicates the genus name, followed by the first two letters in italics of the species. Then comes the strain of the organism and finally a Roman number indicating the order of discovery. Uh, what do you mean by this, sir? Sir, Escherichia coli may say an enzyme aata hai called Eco R1. And ye wala yaad rakna, Eco R1 is the most common restriction endonuclease enzyme. Ye sabse common restriction endonuclease enzyme hai Eco R1. And usme E stands for Escherichia. CO stands for coli. R stands for the strain. RY13 strain. And 1 indicates it is the first endonuclease to have been discovered from Escherichia coli. So, eco R1. Similarly, hind 3. H is from Haemophilus. IN is from Influenza. D is strain RD and it is the third endonuclease to have been discovered. A third endonuclease to be discovered. Of which scientifically and historically Hind 2 was the first endonuclease to have been discovered. Hind 2 sabse pehle discovered kiya gaya tha. And you have recognition sequences. Recognition sequences or restriction site is the site where DNA is cut by the restriction enzyme. So, this site pe DNA cut karta hai, this site pe DNA restriction enzyme cut karta hai, restriction enzyme cuts DNA at a specific site, and that specific site is called as recognition sequence or restriction site and restriction endonucleases recognize DNA with a particular sequence of 4 to 8 nucleotides and cut it. So DNA ke andar 4 se 8 nucleotide ka sequence hota hai usko restriction enzyme ja ke cut kar deta hai. Restriction enzyme ja ke cut kar deta hai. 
each restriction site is highly specific, recognizing the particular short se sequence of restriction site and cuts both DNA strands at the same time at specific point. So, dono DNA strands ko cut kiya jata hai at specific point. So, ye DNA hai aur yaha par bhi cut kiya jata hai, yaha par bhi cut kiya jata hai. Both DNA strands are cut. Cut is here also in this DNA strand. Cut is here also in this DNA strand. So, double-stranded DNAs are cut by restriction enzyme. Restriction enzyme cuts double-stranded DNA. Most restriction sites are palindromes. What are palindromes? In a palindrome, the base sequence of second half of the DNA strand represents the mirror image of the first se base sequence of the first half. Ye word yaad rakna, palindrome, base sequence of second half of the DNA strand represents the mirror image of the base sequence of the first half. What do you mean by this? Palindromes are groups of letters that form the same word when read both forward and backward. For example, Malayalam. Sir, M-A-L-A-Y-A-L-A-M. This is Malayalam. Now, you can write it like this. M-A-L-A-Y-A-L-A-M. Malayalam. So, this is like this. Or Madam. M-A-D-A-M. Madam. Now, you can write it like this. M A D A M madam तो ऐसे words जो forward और backward same होते हैं इन्हें palindromes कहते हैं and in case of DNA it's a sequence of base pair that reads the same two strands when orientation है से five end to three end तो look at this Eco R1 cuts GAA TDC. GAA TDC. And uska complementary konoga. From 5N to 3N, this is GAA TTC from other strand from 5N to 3N. From 5N to 3N, the other strand, the sequence will be C complements with G, T complements with A, T complements with A, A complements with T, A complements with T, G complements with C. So what is the sequence? G, A, A, T, T, C. Look at the sequence. G, A, a T T C. Look at the complementary sequence. G A A T T C. So this is G A A T T C, and this is G A A T T C. So G A A T T C, G A A T T C. Yaha forward reading me G A A T T C hai. Yaha backward reading me G A A T T C hai. Then this is called as a palindrome. Is a palindrome kate hai. And ye wala yadrakda. Eco R1 cuts the phosphodiester bond between G and A. The phosphodiester bond between G and A. And then hydrogen bond between AATT and TTAA. Uske beech ka hydrogen bond. To ye G or A ke beech mein phosphodized bond. G or A ke beech mein phosphodized bond. G or A ke beech mein phosphodized bond. And a A T T or T A A T T यहाँ इनके बीच में hydrogen bonds. तो what will be the sequence? You got 
this sequence and you got this sequence. So, ye dono ends ban jayenge. And what are these ends? These ends are sticky ends. So, ye ho gaya aapka DNA aisa aur ye ho gaya aapka DNA aisa. So, ye ban gaya sticky end. This is sticky end and this is sticky end. So, those sticky ends ban jate hai by cutting between G and A year, by cutting between G and A year, and by cutting phosphodiester bond between G and A, phosphodiester bond between G and A, and hydrogen bonds between A, A, T, T. So now you have got this sequence of DNA. Ye ek DNA fragment ban gaya, ye dusra DNA fragment ban gaya, and what kind of ends are we getting here? We are getting sticky ends. Some you inko separate kar liya, we separate them. Then this will be a sticky end. This will be a sticky end. Or in ke beech mein hum log dalenge gene for insulin. Gene for insulin is put in between them. So ye hai plasmid dna plasmid dna ye bhi hai plasmid dna aur beech mein dal diya gene for insulin to make it a recombinant dna to sticky end pe ye kya stick karenge hum log ligase enzyme aur yahan par bhi ligase enzyme yahan par bhi ligase enzyme Yahan par bhi ligase enzyme. Or yahan ban jayenge, ligase enzyme will make phosphodiester bond. Ligase enzyme will make phosphodiester bond. And unke beech mein ban jayenge hydrogen bonds. Unke beech mein ban jayenge hydrogen bonds. So ye humne aise cut kiya aur ye end bana, ye end bana. Or iske beech mein humne dal diya gene for insulin and ligase enzyme. So ye humne, uh, ye humne aise cut kiya. Ye humne aise cut kiya. Ye humne aise cut kiya. So ye a gaya aapka plasmid. Ye a gaya aapka plasmid. Or ye a gaya gene for insulin. Or ye stick kiya ligase ki madad se phosphodized bond. Phosphodized bond. Phosphodized bond. Phosphodized bond. Or ye dono plasmids ke end hai. Ye gene for insulin a gaya. And Yaha phosphodized bond, phosphodized bond, phosphodized bond, phosphodized bond, stuck with the help of ligase. And ye ho ge complementary. Ye ho ge complementary. Yaha paroga a a t d. A a t d. Or yaha ho ga t t a a. T t a a. So, AATT or TTAA ke beech mein konse bonds ban jayenge? Hydrogen bonds. AATT or TTAA ke beech mein ban jayenge? Hydrogen bonds. Similarly, yaha par bhi ban jayenge? Hydrogen bonds. And we got this chimeric DNA thus constructed. Is tarah se chimeric DNA ban jata hai. And we remember that you require magnesium for cleavage. Cleavage breaking ke liye magnesium ions ki zaruat padti hai. Adho ye yaad rakhna, this is the beautiful concept of restriction fragments and restriction enzymes. Next session, we will go in the details of DNA recombinant technology. I hope you have understood this. Hmm? Take care. See you. Bye-bye.